Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So recently I had an idea for a short that I wanted to create. I wanted to completely animate it in Blender. It's gonna be a very simple animation, primarily involving camera movements, but I wanted to create a series that shows that process from start to finish. And a lot of these processes will be new to me, so you'll be learning along with me. A lot of these things I can already do in Tomb Boom Harmony, but I wanted to see if I could transition that knowledge over to Blender Grease Pencil. So the videos will hopefully cover things like how to create backgrounds, how to use two point perspective, how to color the backgrounds. We'll do some things with some layers to create textures. And then I'll do some camera movement animation. I'll add audio and adjust that in Blender. And my goal would be to do everything within Blender. So I don't even wanna go outside of Blender for compositing. So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to add reference images to Blender. So in my next video, I wanna show you how to add noise with the noise modifier to my strokes so that I can get a certain look. And I'll show you what that look is when I load the reference images. So hopefully you find this video helpful and hopefully you'll follow along with the series as I work on it because I'll be learning. So it might be interesting to learn along with me. For now, let's get started on adding the reference images. So here I'm in Blender and I have a basic installation. I haven't made any changes to it and you can see that I'm in 3.5. So I want to add my reference images as planes because the planes are much easier to manipulate than the normal way you'd bring in a reference image in Blender. So to show that, I wanna click on 2D animation and that'll create my 2D animation workspace. And up here at the left, I wanna click on draw mode and go to object mode. I want shift A for the add menu. And if I go to image, you can see I have two options, reference and background, and I don't want either one of those. I want my image to be on plane, which is much more versatile. So you could do that yourself by adding a plane and adding the images as a texture, but Blender comes with an add-on natively that you just need to enable that allow you to do that. So I'm gonna click on edit preferences. And with add-on selected, I wanna type in image in the search field. I'm gonna click on Import, export, import images as planes, and that'll enable that. Now if I close this, and I go to Shift A, you can see now I have the option images as planes. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I wanna navigate to where my images are stored, and I'll double click on one to import the image as a plane. So you can see I have that image. Now, since I'm in object mode, I'm gonna hit S to scale it. I'm gonna bring that up. And this is the background image from Bob's Burgers. So I'm gonna hit G to grab it and I'm gonna bring it up here and drop it. Now again, I'm in object mode. I'm gonna bring in another one. So I'll hit Shift A. And then from the pop-up menu, I'm gonna choose Image, Images as Planes. And again, I'm gonna scale that up by hitting S. Then I'm gonna hit G to grab it and bring it up over here. And I'll scale that up a little bit more. I'm going to shift A again, image, images as planes, and choose my next to last reference image. S to scale it up. G to grab it. I'm going to bring it over here. S to scale it down. And my last image is my main reference image. So I'm going to navigate to that one by hitting shift A, image, images as planes. Now I'll hit S to scale it. G to grab it, I'm gonna bring it over here and I'll hit S to scale it up a little more. G to grab it. Okay, and that's how I add my reference images to Blender. So you can see my canvas is unobstructed by the reference images. I'm gonna hit Shift and Middle Mouse to drag over to them. So this is a scene from the TV show Supernatural if you haven't seen it. And my animation short is gonna be a short little comedy clip for Supernatural. And this is one of the backgrounds that I'm gonna use for that. But I want the background to be in the style of like a Bob's Burger or Inside Job or Star Trek Lower Decks, Rick and Morty, Final Space, one of those. So in order to create this, I'm gonna show you how to use two point perspective in Blender to create these lines. And I'll do that in a later video. But before we do that, I need to be able to create a jitter to my line. And if you scroll in here and look, you can see those lines really are not very even. And while I don't draw the straightest lines in the world, I don't really have that much jitter to my work. 
And there's also a problem where you draw in perspective in Blender using the guide, you get a very straight line. So we need to modify that a bit. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do that with the noise modifier. And then the video after that, we'll start drawing and I'll show you how to use guides to create two point perspective. So hopefully you'll follow along with this series as I learn to do this in Blender. And by the end, I hope to have a, just a couple of seconds short and it'll be using a couple of different backgrounds or rooms in the supernatural bunker and then add some audio and some camera movements. So I hope you stick around to watch how that progresses and I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.